So long, and thanks for all the fish, Berkeley. March 21st, 2006. The day Layla Hassan drops out of college. That's right, Professor Moore. I'm not finishing that Jane Eyre paper. I got a job, and I'm headed to Philly next week. This whole classroom thing, it's not for me. Mom and Dad are freaking out, but they'll accept it. I'll be working towards something real, making real money, and I'll be closer to home. Not that I'll visit any more often. Sophia promised there would always be a place for me at Absurgo, as long as I show them what I can do with a circuit board and a pair of pliers. Sure, I'll have to work my way up to a place on her special project, but that doesn't matter. It won't be long before she or her father, Mr. Alan Ricken, notices what I'm capable of and asks for my help on the Animus. I swear, I get more done reading the latest copy of Wired on the toilet than the rest of the guys do all day in the lab. I mean, the body band? Really? If people can't take a walk on their own, they aren't going to listen to a watch that tells them to do it either. This is all so pointless. I should just go back to... Wait. That's probably what the body band would tell me to do. What I should do is build something that will simultaneously blow people's minds and the doors off the Animus Project. Nothing at Abstergo Fitness is going to be big enough for that. I'm bored as hell. But there's nothing like boredom to stimulate creativity. Yep. I think the body band needs a little adjustment to its language processing program. The right decision always feels like home. My stuff's the same. My locker smells the same. It's like I never left. But I did. And I can never unlearn what I know now. How will it change my work at the Historical Research Division? Hard to say. All I know is that it will. Our Dom booked us a lunch. Nothing fancy. She wanted me to meet Deanna Geary, my new medical officer. She looks like she was born in the middle of a cornfield, but she seems okay. I can't believe she left homemade cookies on my desk. I don't know why I told her about getting stood up last weekend. I never talk about personal stuff at work. At least it seems like I can trust her. You need that to stay alive in the field. Too bad most of Abstergo's tactical units don't consider trust a priority. No mention in the official credits, but all those emails, all those middle-of-the-night phone calls from Madrid, there's a lot of me in there. Sophia, if I'd known you just wanted to strip mine my brain and leave me in the dark, I never would have followed you. Go away! There's no candy here! Nothing in life is ever free. Ever. The Animus. I can tell. I know it wouldn't have worked without my advice. Just look how they did the heat sink. The VRMs, the high amperage rating by transistor. It was me who told them it would offset failure of the... What's this? Hello there, DNA reader module. Are you ringing my doorbell? Maybe there's some candy here after all. I've come to the conclusion that Sophia is shit at hiring staff. The entire Madrid facility. Ugh. How do they not see it? It would be so easy. You just have to parse the genetic memory input and work from smaller data pools. You could even process incomplete samples and still create a reliable model for high levels of synchronization. The reader module and the decryption software would need an update, but it's doable. Madrid's probably congratulating themselves just for getting this far. Meanwhile, I'm partying with some congealed veggie curry three plasma screens, a disassembled Animus, and Raw Victoria's debut album on loop. Sahete. Dee will be mad when she sees how I use Milton's DNA, but what did she expect when she asked me for help? I needed someone's genetic profile to test the Animus, and, well, his was right there. All in the name of science. I like morning briefings. They're short, minimal nonsense, and they have free coffee. No downtime this week. 
They're putting me and Dee on a plane to Alexandria two days from now. I don't get why Hathaway's in such a rush. We're being deployed to extract an artifact. If it were a person of interest, the push would make more sense. A person could be halfway across the world in a couple of hours. But an artifact that's been sitting around for 2,000 years, it's not going anywhere. An artifact of high interest. Heard that before. It always ends up being some crappy pottery shard or half an old book. My animus runs on DNA, not tableware. It'll be strange visiting Egypt for the first time since 2013. Back then I went looking for my roots and found trouble instead. It's good that Dee's coming. She always keeps me from doing anything too stupid. Turns out, the artifact of high interest is also a person of interest. A mummy. And a golden opportunity. I've informed Dee of some changes I'm making to our assignment parameters. She acted mad, but I know she's eager to see my animus field tested. Abstergo won't mind. Well, they would if they found out, but they won't. <laughs> Hathaway's intel was a disaster. They have no idea what's going on with this extraction. He'll take his fun and all, but that's not why I left Berkeley. If the Animus lets me ride DNA this old, if the reader can model the missing codons and extrapolate the genetic memories that aren't mine, Sophia would lose her... Abstergo. Abstergo will come to me on their hands and knees. My name will be right up there with Warren Vidix. Anameta Kidaminda. Too bad the Madrid facility got blown up. But I bet they'll build a new one soon. This one will be in Philly. And its lead engineer will be Leila Hassan.
Got the psych sporin. Two CC should do it. Don't forget the alcohol wipe. I wish I was there to help. You do a good job looking after me, even from the hotel. And I know how you like your aircon. One bar. No, half a bar. shouldn't get too far from the cave. Papers went everywhere. Whoops, anything important? Yeah, the notes on the animus. One bar. No, half a bar. <laughs> Dean never puts in enough snacks. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Who are you talking to? By ex mummy. Real chatterbox, that one. Come forth by day, and I will guide you home. Who are you talking to? By ex mummy. Real chatterbox, that one. Going back in. This is so badass. Be careful.
must protect this great land. Alexandria is where the snake thrives, and Aya lives. I must find them both. Yamu. Home to my old friend Menehet. He will be in the temple. He always is. You accompany yeah. me. Sekhmet favors the generous. Medjai, help me. I will pay you. What do you need? Last night, my dear husband Claudius took a boat out to see the ruins across the lake. He has not returned. None of these brutes honor a wife's pain. I beg you. I will seek him out. Do be quick. I will await you here. Cero. Have you seen my Book of the Dead in your travels, Medjai? I went all the way to Memphis to buy it. No. How was it lost? Bandits. They came from the dunes nearby. When their leader saw how I cared for the book, he wrenched it from me. I thought my heart would stop. I can help. I do not fear them. I have been praying for someone like you. That book will unite me with my wife's spirit. There you are, father. We are going home. But this Magi is helping me. Oh, yes? You are going to find his book? If by some miracle you do, thank you. Did you hear where the bandits meant to go? Oh, I... Uh, the leader told the others to meet him at the necropolis, I think. We live nearby. I am not going home until I... Father, the book is gone. <laughs>
will find Mother in the field of reeds without it. I promise. God warrior will find the book. What good fortune! I thought it would be years before we saw you again. Hail in peace, Menahed. How is your family? <laughs> the children seem to grow larger by the minute. My wife and I have our hands full. And you? Is there any news of... None. I forget myself. There are so many things in your life best not spoken of. Forgive me. I see by your garb that you have been promoted. Ah, yes. The High Priest, in his grace, made me his second. And my rank is not the only thing he has changed. You must see the temple. You will give me a tour? Of course, of course. At the moment of your pleasure. Ready to see our beautiful temple? After you, Menehet. Or is it servant of the goddess? Menahet will 